Hey guys, it's Keith with L1 Automotive Training and Zach. And Zach, other Zach's out there too, supervising. <laughs> So we've got a uh, 2015, 15? 17. 17, I said that twice already. 17 Honda Accord replacement VSA ABS control module. In service info, those require mobilized registration. You can see right here on the screen, I'm gonna superimpose it. And so we're gonna go through and do that. So we boot up IHDS, then we're gonna go to the immobilizer setup tool. It closes out the IHDS suite and opens the Bosch Grade X immobilizer tool. Once the immobilizer tool boots up, you'll go ahead and press start. Gonna go ahead and select our VCI. Okay, so once it asks for all this info, we're gonna click PCM code down here at the bottom. And what we're gonna do is log on to NASTIF and use our vehicle security credential or my security credential to get the, the VSP number or to get the PIN code number and we're gonna type it in. So let me type this in here. We'll go ahead and press OK. It's going to enter the immobilizer registration mode. We're going to have a couple options. So we're going to go ahead and click the one push start. And then we're going to click the, um, the registration button. And there should be an option for replacing the MCU, yeah, the VSA modulator. So we'll select that because that's the process we're doing. So turn the ignition off. So insert the keyless remote into the vehicle's remote slot. Uh, so I think it's the actual button on this one. So we're gonna hold the key up to the button. Holding the key there, so switch the ignition off. So we did that. We're gonna find out if we're right or wrong here in a second. Registration has been completed. Turn the ignition switch off. Uh, so there we go, we registered the replacement VSA module into the immobilizer system. And uh, again, the service information, this note right here is really, really important. It basically says if you don't do this, the next time you unhook the battery, you're gonna have a no start condition with immobilizer code. So for all those customers and people that these late model Hondas where the theft light comes on after you get the battery replaced, that's because somebody probably replaced the ABS module and didn't do their job. So thanks, we'll see you guys next time.